Hi everyone, welcome back to Earl Grey Books. I'm Ellie and I'm here today to do a historical romance haul. So this one is a pretty small haul. I've got, what, seven books here to tell you about. Uh, but I wanted to film this now because I keep all of my books separate until I haul them. And I'm honestly kind of sick of having this pile separate and I just want to be able to put these into my historical romance shelves properly and just you know be able to get to them and whatnot so without further ado we're gonna jump straight in I think I have a, a really interesting um, selection of books here I have only read two of these authors before but we're going to start with those ones. So the first one I have here is Something Fabulous by Alexis Hall, who also wrote Boyfriend Material, which I read last year and really enjoyed. This is obviously a historical romance, and as you may be able to tell, it is a male male. And um, as you can see here, Alexis Hall's actually written quite a few books. This is only my second of his. And um, I'm really excited for this. I got this in a book box. I got a book addiction book box. I got one of their, they do a couple of different genres. Uh, this was part of the LGBTQIA plus box. I have to say that um, I was very disappointed with the box and I, I, um, I won't be purchasing another one from them. Uh, I do have a special edition one that I ordered at the same time as this one um, that hasn't been released yet but I just wasn't impressed by anything else in the box so I won't be repurchasing but I did I, I they announced the books ahead of time so I knew that I was getting this one and that's why I bought it and I'm very excited to read it and then the other one I have from an author that I've read before is Bombshell by Sarah McLean. This one came out last year um, and my best friend and I had done a pre-order together so that I think it was coming to my house and then um, I was just gonna give her um, her copy. It's just so much easier than us like both ordering that way, you know, um, we can just half shipping and all that kind of stuff. And then literally the day it was released, they canceled the order and obviously we got a refund and everything, but then it was impossible to find this one in this size anywhere, because obviously the one that is um, this size has a different cover and it's, it's just not as nice as this one. So this is the first book in a new series from her called Hell's Bells. I haven't read this one yet. I still have to finish off the third book in the Bare Knuckle Bastard series, but then I will move on to this one. I believe the second one is either already out or is coming out very soon. So um, I do need to catch up. And then we're gonna move on to the ones that I've never read before. Starting with my most recent purchase, this is the Wisteria Society of Lady Scoundrels by India Holton. So I have wanted this one literally for ages. And then the other day I happened to drop by Dimix after work and I saw that they had this one and the sequel. So I immediately picked this one up. It was very, I was very much considering buying the sequel as well, but I figured that I should probably give this one a go. I think I'm gonna like it, but just in case I don't, I want it to be on the safe side. But I'm very excited for this one. It is not super long, so I think it's gonna be one that I pick up um, possibly before this video is even up. I don't really know, we'll see. And then uh, we just go into the mass market. So I kind of have a theme with these apart from this one. This is Her Night with the Duke by Diana Quincy. I honestly don't even remember what this one is about. I think it's a woman 
and then the duke who is going to marry her stepdaughter but I feel like they're probably about the same age ish anyway um, I'm very excited and then the kind of like theme that we've got going on here is like a orangey yellow uh, color palette so first up I have the Duke Heist by Erica Ridley again I don't really remember what this one is about but this is part of a post that I'm hoping to do on my blog in May so I do really need to get to this one and then I have West End Earl by Bethany Bennett which is also for that same post uh, honestly do not remember what this one is about either standard historical romance stuff I guess my camera cut out but what I was about to say was that this is actually the second book in this series um, I haven't read the first I do have it from the library but I do need to return it this week so I don't know that I'm gonna get to it but it's historical romance I can just read this one and not even read the first one if I choose not to but excited for it and then finally I have the Harris the heiress hunt by Joanna Shoup uh, this is the first book in the Fifth Avenue Rebels series and again don't really know what this one is about I believe okay it says childhood friends so I'm imagining imagining it is a childhood friends to lovers situation and I'm excited I'm just excited to try some new authors in the genre because uh, I feel like sometimes I get very stuck in just reading uh, the ones I've read before because they often have so many books um, so excited to try some new people and that is it for today's haul like I said just a nice like short little one there they are looking all nice and pretty together that's the end of today's video I'd love to hear if you've read any of these and what you thought about them and I will see you all next time hope you're doing super well thanks for watching bye